Oh, hello there. We're doing it again. We're gonna do Elizabeth River kayaking. We're starting at the end. Lovely wife has helped me out with the car for Waterfront Park. So we're parked here. I'm gonna have the beautiful wife bring me back up to the spot, which is a very interesting story, but we've got someone waiting on me, so let's go. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm about 10 minutes away. I'm here with my wife. We just want to let you know that... Okay, don't worry. The, the kind of safe. We're on our way. I just want to let you know, and thank okay, you so much worry, for doing this. Tell your wife, don't speed. Okay, no speeding. Alright. Alright, we'll be there in, a bit, in less than 10 minutes now. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so let me explain to you what's going on here. So, this is an adventure. We're doing Elizabeth River, so the idea was I would take my kayak at the spot we're going to launch, which is, uh, you know, it's an urban area, and I got to stash my kayak, hide it, then ride my car down to Veteran Memorial Park, and then what I'm going to do is the lovely wife is going to drive me back to the spot. But a nice lady said, don't leave your kayak here. A bunch of people started gathering. She's like, they'll, it'll be stolen. I mean, I have good faith in people that that would not happen, but I love that kayak. That's my old, it's Old Town Loon. Um, so we're, we're gonna be there shortly and uh, we'll give her a little something for the effort because she was real sweet. And interesting enough, in Elizabeth, it's Puerto Rican Day Parade Day. So there's a lot of congestion, but I'm feeling the adrenaline rush. This is like last licks for the season, but um, I'm really excited. So this should be a cool paddle. Join me. Good news, it's still here. That's Victoria. I just. I want to get a little picture of her. Thank you. You're very sweet for doing that. No, because I like kayaks and then the people rub it for you. Yeah. And kayas, uh, that kayas was... and bicycles, they rub you. Yeah. This is my wife. Oh, that's nice. So... No, I told her from, from Massachusetts. Huh? And my daughter went to school and I, we bought her a kayak. The first one, they rub her. Oh. Really? So when I see kayaks, I in love with kayaks. So my daughter is from Springfield. She works in a Springfield hospital. Okay. Okay, so when I saw him, he put it there. He said, that guy is not gonna stay when he come back. Uh, so it's safe yeah, over here. Welcome. But when, when whenever you want him, put it right there and tie to that. Oh, oh yeah, that's yes, a good point. Yes, bring a chain. Yeah, bring a chain. How about a little and something, you know? Okay. Right. All right. For okay. the effort, you know. This is for you. Thank yes. you very much. You're, you're, very, you're very sweet. No, 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 no. No, I think it's something. No, I don't need money. No. No, we're not. I know. No. Please, can you get your family something? No, no, no. I know, sir. No, no, no. I know, guys, it's $900. No, you you did us a big favor, and I'm going to have a great day today. And Yeah, you got to, too. I took a picture of the ocean. It was a little uh, like a seagull. Yeah. And she liked to be lonely. She liked the water. Yeah. yeah. So enjoy the day. Thank yeah. you so much. And go to New Hampshire. Go yeah. to New Hampshire. Yeah. Thank go you very much. Go to Massachusetts. All right. Go to Massachusetts. Okay. New Hampshire. All right. Thanks. Have a great go day. Go to Vermont, Maine. All right. Think he's going. Thank you. Okay, bye. All right, here we go. Do we got enough of the tide to not have to walk in this? Let's see. Right. It's gonna be slippery. Let's take a look. Still already looks kind of beautiful and cool. Alright, so I did my best to time the tide right and get closer to where the water was deeper, but I, as you can see, am walking. 
So this will open up and it's not bad. Just gotta watch my step. And oh, look at these two uh, lovebirds. <laughs> but yeah. So today is Puerto Rican Day uh, Parade in Elizabeth. So you might see some of that. And uh, positive vibrations. We're gonna get some deeper water soon. All right, here we go. All right, we're finally floating. I gotta check on the map which bridge this is, but unfortunately you can't launch anywhere around here, but it's a little portage. Weather's pretty nice. I just stopped. Uh, pretty mellow out here. So I wanna make a point here. I'm coming out of the all the uh, barriers and the uh, embankment and as soon as you come out as you come on the route one again it's like the wildlife opens up and just uh, immediately right after the bridge as the uh, embankments end you see egrets comrades it's amazing so I'm gonna show you a little more of that but it's from here now it opens up to a beautiful wildlife sanctuary yeah i want to give you a different perspective uh been over the elizabeth river so many times and many people have not been on here and here's another look and you can see it, it just opens up into some there's a lot of amazing wildlife here so we'll, we'll see a little more friends somebody tell me what this is it looks like it's for rain and sewage runoff but it's like clipped at the end so is that what they do? They just decide to put the clip and then they can open it up again? Let me get see it. I'm curious. I always wanted to know. I just never looked into it. Here's a spot on the Elizabeth River. Right behind me, they have what's called the Elizabeth River Trail. And it's amazing. It starts at Broad Street and it comes all the way down here to the Gothels Bridge, which I don't know if you can see if I raise up. But you can ride your bike, walk. It's amazing. You can go into Staten Island and come back. And then in front of me, you can see the lights. That's Matano Park. It's really amazing. So if you're into, I'm into rails, the trails. So that's an amazing, it's not a rail, but it's a trail. But the, the idea is in Union County, we can connect all these so that you can by water, bike, walk, you can connect to the whole county, whatever having to get in your car or go on the street. So it's pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find here. Right behind me, you can't see it, but there's a, I think it's a blue heron hanging out under that bridge. I want to see if I can, they're very, very uh, aware. So let's see if we can get near him or her. That was not a blue heron. I need glasses. It's uh, a decoy. There you go. So here we go. And you know, a remark from the last time I did this trip, I don't, right as I hit the spot, there was a really bad odor. I do not smell that this time, so that's a good thing. That was a big fishing line stuck on here. They pulled it out. Yeah, that's not good. Some guys fishing over there. I don't want to disturb them. Fishing under the bridge. And I live in a van down by the river. God, I was just taking some uh, pictures over here. I found a really, really interesting spot. If you can see above me, there's, there's some abandoned uh, like uh, train or truck uh, trailers with really cool uh, art on them. But as I came down this wall, as I kind of predicted, uh, one of these massive pieces of uh, concrete fell down and I jumped off of it and it didn't get me. But 
that would have been really bad. So I'm having the time of my life out here, but you gotta use caution. And also I could use a buddy for this one. But right now, the important thing is what I'm doing is I'm putting all, I'm waterproofing everything. I'm just gonna have the GoPro available because I'm coming out to the Arthur Kill. And it is, if you remember from the last video, it's pretty wild down there. So I wanna make sure we're good. And this time, this boat, is almost four feet longer than the last one so we should be good i got the bilge pump and we'll figure out where we're going to get out but i'm really excited so come join me again <laughs> Guys, this is a really awesome part of the end of the, the trip, getting out to the kill. But you always hear me talking about respecting the water, and this is where things change, can change real quick. So you gotta be prepared. I put all my stuff in dry bags. I'm gonna hold on to this camera, if this camera, uh, I wanna get video. But also, I wanna show you this drawbridge. It's permanently up. And I'll show you another view. And this is the waterfront park down here in Elizabeth. There's a fellow, uh, looks like he's fishing. So let me see, I gotta, I gotta get serious here because I gotta figure out where I'm gonna get out. This, I'm not gonna go to that marina again. I'm gonna uh, pull a little further north. All right, here we go. So I made it out. It's pretty quiet here, but you always gotta watch out. A tow boat with no load on it can really make a big, big uh, wake waves that's the gothels back there let me get a little closer that's the gothels behind the uh new construction like those spires or that guy just finished his lunch well i'm gonna head my way back you can see new york city back there i'm gonna get a little closer this msc tanker pretty much stationary here but yeah this is cool it's waterfront park What? Check out all those containers. You can't see from far away, but all those refrigerated containers. So all your products, who knows what's in there. This thing is huge. But I just, I just booked my way across this channel. I asked some people on the pier of fish, you see any, uh, any boats? They said no, but I just hightailed it out of there. But I want to look a little more around. This is cool. This thing is massive. Massive. All right, I don't know if an engine turns on or something, that'd be bad, so I'm getting out of here. <laughs> awesome. See, man, these, these, these tugboats sneak up on you. That guy, like, I basically turned around, it's silent, didn't hear anything, and here he comes. So here comes the Lincoln Sea tugboat. Let's see what kind of wake this thing's gonna make. He's going pretty slow. So, I think he's looking out for me, actually. I want to get close enough to show you, but this reminds me of what it would be like if birds went to a bar. Because they're all hanging out on these old uh, pilings. And you can see they're just kind of hanging out. They look like they might be talking to each other, if they could talk. Now there's, there's lots of boats coming by now. So this is going to be interesting getting across the channel, possibly. So look over here, see on the right? They're all kind of just hanging out. And they're all different types of birds. So I think because the tide is um, going to low tide, they're looking for food. gonna get some wakes we got a bunch of boats came at once so we're gonna get some wakes here guys we're gonna have to put the camera down I didn't bring my my uh, thing all right coming down so I made it back it got real there were no boats here when I first started now they're, they're coming non-stop it's a Sunday but it's uh it's pretty cool but I had a real, you really have to hustle because you can get caught in the middle of that channel real easy. But we made it and success, another one. So, like how far out is it? All right, I'll go over there. Just